Shalom, Shalom, Azu, Brother Kadash. We want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, and Kadash. That were honest to the apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and honors to all the brothers in this truth. This is Matthew chapter 24, starting at verse 4. It says, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And these are going into those signs that we could tell that we're getting to the end times. You got inflation on the way. You got gas shortages, famines, and different things on the way. Earthquakes in diverse diverse places. Look what's going over there on over there in the land in Israel right now. You got nation versus nation. You know you got all these things which are the beginning of sorrow. So this just shows you and proves that prophecies are being fulfilled, and we are in those end times. You know if you were having lack of faith either way but let's let this play size isolated queensland compound where he's preparing his followers including children for the apocalyptic end of the world the idea that the group is 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 coming together in a community and that miller is developing a compound in my opinion, is ominous because only the most extreme cults isolate themselves in a compound. Jonestown or a Waco Davidian group, which were two groups that ended tragically in mass suicide. This is when groups become the most extreme because the leader controls everything. The leader is this man. Alan John Miller, but but I'm, I'm actually Jesus. I remember all of the events of my crucifixion. I understood what was going on. I understood the reason for my death. And he's collecting disciples. Miller has convinced them that they were with him at his crucifixion. I went to get the spike and smash it into his hands. And just so much love that had come from him. So I couldn't do it. It was excruciating to watch basically the annihilation of the person that I love the most. <laughs> Whenever I think about him now, I just cry. I'm starting to have a, a soul, like an emotional realisation of who he is. I'm on the way to Mergen in country Queensland to two days of teachings by Yeshua ben Joseph, or Jesus. It's a gathering of the faithful from around the world. We well, welcome along. I'm Jesus, this is Mary. And so what we want to do today is talk about addictions and bribery and fear, threats and blackmail. I can feel that many of you are still in addictions with regard to your development towards God. I've got all of these emotional injuries. I will feed them with my truth. These things are not going to go away from you just by you getting baptised. To me, these words sound like rehashed New Age. So it's one thing to call yourself Jesus because the Jesus that pops up on the image when you Google, that's a false God, that's an idol. But there's another thing to say that you're the Lord of the Bible. You know, you're Yahweh Shai, but saying you're Jesus of the Bible, saying that, you know, you've been crucified and you got disciples and stuff and then Mary and like he just said, like now you're kind of going off into pretty much this right here. This is Matthew 24, back in Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such um, as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no nor ever shall be, except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And we're about to see that tribulation, man, especially with these gas prices and these famines and different things and the um, inflation of the dollar coming. Uh, verse 23, then if any man shall say unto you, lo, here is Christ, or a dare, believe it not, so... Any man, just like the man on your screen, say, look, here's Christ, wherever they're at, believe it not. Um, for there shall arise false Christ 
and false prophets and should so great signs and wonders and so much that if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. So there's a lot more that's coming. A lot, lot more that's coming, you know. Behold, I have told you before. So, um, verse 26, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. Same thing, below, he's in some type of forest somewhere, believe it not. Right, because this is how we know that he's not the Lord, and this is biblical. And all his followers, if they actually read and studied the Bible, they would know that too. The Lord told us how he's coming back. He didn't say he was coming back wearing a lime green um t shirt, you know. Um, the Lord is coming back with um an eye defect, so he has to wear glasses because the the holy, the um powerful um lord that sits on the right hand of yahweh has to wear um glasses because he has a seeing problem <laughs> you see what i'm saying he has to uh, wear a microphone up um up to his um mouth so crowds can hear him when did the lord ever say he was coming back like that this is how we know the true lord and when the lord is um know when the true lord is coming back and that it's actually him matthew 24 verse 27 for as lightning cometh out the east and shineth even to the west, so shall also the coming of the sun be. So when did that happen? And then he popped down. Verse 28. For wherever so the carcass is, there will be eagles um, be gathered together. Immediately after tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. Has that happened yet? And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. So we will see him in the skies. Who's seen this guy in the skies? It says, And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall and um they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. No, coming with a lime green shirt on and um prescription glasses and a microphone with tape on it. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, um, from one end of heaven to the other. No, he's going to have a congregation in a building, and he's going to be teaching them. You see what I'm saying, man? Here, this is Revelations chapter 1. Let's let this play a little bit more. Psychology, but for these people, they burn with the light of divine truth. Let yourself feel the disillusionment you feel, the disillusionment about the search. What's happening here is AJ is talking about emotions. Now, most religions are suspicious of emotions. They see faith as essentially a thing of the mind, but emotions take us to the heart of AJ's teachings. What he's doing is setting up a sort of spiral where people get dragged down and down and down and people are asked to plumb the depths of emotions from which many of them can never escape. One of his techniques to draw people in is to demand that they find emotional trauma in their family history. I mean, that's the hook. You know, that's the hook. The Lord, I mean, the Bible explains the Lord having, um, like you said, um, clothes with a garment down to the foot and a girdle about the paps with a golden girdle. But it's kind of like he has on pink pants or shorts. And I mean, come on, man. We know that this is not the Lord, you know, but this is how we know that we're getting close to the end times because prophecy is being fulfilled. Like, the Lord needed um, a microphone and he needed to sit down with another guy and they needed to kind of, when did the Lord say he was coming back like this? This is Revelations chapter one. This is how the Lord's coming back. Verse seven, behold, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him and they also which pierced him and all kindred of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, amen. He's coming with the clouds and every eye is going to see him. You see what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to have to turn on a youtube video to see to see the lord coming back i am alpha and omega the beginning and the end um say the lord which is and which was and which is to come the almighty so this is how the lord is coming back with great power and glory you know with the holy angels but for some reason 
we supposed to believe that this guy he he is you know so let's let it play a little bit more what it was like to have to shut yourself down so much just to please your mother because that's that's what she wants that's what she wants you to do shut you down so much and she was giving you all of these things but she wants to eat the things in return from you and that feels bad to you so allow yourself to connect with that that's it and as you connect to that you can start really connecting and that's it and children are being caught in Miller's web as well. The Lord is coming. Man, let me let me stop. So the Lord is going to need balloons and he's going to need markers to kind of try to draw on the board and get his point across. You know, he's going to be barefoot in the building, you know. Um, man, look, this is Second Thessalonians chapter 1, um, verse 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. So he's he's going to be revealed from the heavens, from the skies that we know of, right? That we call it the skies today, but from the heavens, you know, with mighty angels. Where is his mighty angels at? Verse eight. And flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God. Where's the flaming fire at that's taking vengeance? And that obey not the gospel of our Lord. It says Jesus Christ, but we know Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So where is that at? Where is that happening at if he's but come on, we know I'm just playing along with it just to just to um just to show the Bible the truth of the you know the scriptures and show the real way that the Lord is coming back and that prophecy is being fulfilled that there will rise false Christ and we're gonna see even more and I'm gonna catch them you know if Lord Lord willing um I'll be um able to catch these different things and make videos about them so with that I'm gonna say salvation to you let Shalom.